since 1998 to 2017, scientists from Florida Institute of Technology and the University of California at Santa Barbara have been teamed up uh, with ReefCheck to study data from 3,355 coral reef sites in 81 countries. From this, you know, newish study, they found that while rising sea surface temperatures drive more frequent and intense coral bleaching in tropical oceans, reefs at n that are near the equator, where coral diversity is at its highest, and high variability in water temperatures are, you know, the least affected. So the highest probability of bleaching occurs 14 to 20 degrees north and south of the equator. Despite temperature levels there being similar to those on at the equa equatorial sites, I said that word, I'm gonna carry on. This could be due to the high diversity of coral species, including types that are less susceptible to temperature change or are more custom, you know, to warm up water. So the study also revealed that over the past decade, coral bleaching has occurred at temperatures around just half a degree higher than previous decades. What this seems to indicate is that the surviving coral populations were adapting to, you know, having higher thermal thresholds, aka they are the real coral MVPs. Now, these results underline the need for better global modeling uh, of the effect of climate change. Maybe these MVP corals could, you know, actually help the dying corals in other places in the world, or at least, you know, we could actually replace it. Who knows, who knows? They're doing loads of studies on the Great Barrier Reef. But what do you think about this story? Should they actually start introducing the equ equatorial corals to the Great Barrier Reef, like I just said, you know, to try and help save it? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy, scuba divers. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.